what happens with Asperger's and, and autism type syndromes, the child is very sensitive at the soul level, so sensitive in fact, that all it feels when it's incarnated is just the barrage of unhealed emotions from its environment. And what happens is it starts to not have a sense of self. And the reason why it doesn't have a sense of self is because it's getting so many emotions from its environment that it can't determine who it itself is and who, what's coming from the environment. And so there's a, not a very clear delineation in the child itself as to who it is. So when the parents actually heal emotions, and the more emotions you heal as a parent, you'll find actually the child will start actually feeling some of its own emotions. And, uh, and you'll find that process will grow fairly rapidly, depending on how rapidly parents deal with their emotions. The reason why the problem is genetic is because our parents usually have the same emotions that we have um, in terms of shutting down our system. And what's happening at the moment, there are a lot of souls, if you could say children being born, because they're being born into a more sensitive environment, they are becoming more sensitive to the suppression of emotion. And that's really what uh, those kind of problems like autism and Asperger's and so forth are created from. So yes, you can heal your child very quite rapidly actually. Um, and the earlier you do it, the better. So the earlier you work on your own emotions when you've got an autistic child, the better for the child. Yeah.